the fallen, uh, I believe they were fallen angels or <coughs> in another dimension, who made it with living women and who produced the Nephilim. And so this Nephilim, uh, which some people believe are uh, visitors from other planets, and I can see how they can see it. If, if, if we emerge in our lifetime, and in fact, I was listening to your show, George, as you were talking to Whitley, I think, last week. Yeah. And I admire his work, and the guy's brilliant. Um, uh, one thing I would agree with him on, uh, I think that there are Nephilim walking among us. I think that there, are, that, that there is a genetically advanced race of have cloned Nephilim or whatever. They're living among us. And maybe we can't detect them physically, but they're living among us. I agree with that. Let's go to the big island in Hawaii. Frank is there. Let's get him in here. Hi, Frank. Hey, good evening, gentlemen. Good to have um, you. I was wondering if, if uh, your guest could give me his take on this. I, I wonder if we could equate the future of the United States, uh, if it were to fall, in essence, to uh, what's going on in Mexico with the fighting for power that's going on there between the drug cartels and... <coughs> Nazis, Alex Jones and David Ike. <clears throat> Alex Jones and D oh, look at that one. Alex Jones, you know, I hear you all the time, Alex Jones, talk about shooting police. Like, you say, oh, I'm not saying this, I know, but I know how you and David Ike paint pictures in people's minds, huh? Fuck. I 